Hello everyone, it's your chemical tutor here. I am back with my second tutorial. Before starting this video, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe it. In this video, I will give you a brief overview of chemical engineering subjects. What do we study in chemical engineering? In 4 years of a chemical engineer, he studies almost 44 different subjects, which makes him a superhuman. Just kidding. We classify chemical engineering subjects into three broad categories fundamentals, core units, and advanced units. Fundamentals are the base of chemical engineering. It involves math, chemistry, fluid, and stoichiometry. Core units involve some really interesting subjects like heat and mass transfer, thermodynamics, reaction engineering, and separation processes. At the last, there are some advanced units like transport phenomena, process instrumentation and chemical engineering design. I will define some major subjects here. First one is fluid mechanics. Liquid and gas have the capability to move. That's why these are called fluids. In this subject, we study the behavior of fluid in rest as well as in motion. Branch of fluid mechanics which deals with fluid at rest is called fluid static. Here we are concerned with pressure head, specific weight, absolute and gauge pressure, etc. Effect of different forces on fluid motion is studied in fluid dynamics. Here we apply equation of continuity, Bernoulli's equation and determine velocity profile and things like these. Next is stoichiometry. It is basically related with mass and energy balance. By origin, it is a combination of Greek words, which means measurement of elements. In this we study how masses of reactants and products are involved in a chemical reaction and how we can calculate the energy requirement for the process. Next we have heat transfer. Heat always travels from hot body to cold body. In this subject, we are concerned with rate of heat transfer and modes followed by heat transfer like either it is conduction, convection or radiation. Thermodynamics is concerned with how energy can be converted into work efficiently. It covers effect of heat, work and energy on a system. Core of thermodynamics are its three basic laws. We will study these laws in upcoming tutorials. Most of people confuse thermodynamics with heat transfer. Thermodynamics is concerned with total amount of heat change in a process. On the other hand, heat transfer explains how this change took place, which mode was followed by the heat transfer. What happens when a drop of ink is mixed with water? When room freshener is used? Both show diffusion phenomena. Mass transfer is concerned with transfer of mass from high concentration to a low concentration. Its application involves absorption, evaporation, drying and crystallization. In reaction engineering, we study kinetics of a chemical reaction and following these kinetics, we design different type of reactors within which these chemical changes take place. In industry, we have different variables like pressure, temperature, flow rate and concentration etc. With the help of process control, we learn how these parameters can be regulated automatically. For this purpose, we use controllers. Chemical engineering design. In final year, we take everything we have learned in the foundation and core units until we are able to do real process design. This is where in a team you will design a real process to produce a chemical. This is the most exciting subject of a chemical engineering. That's all for today. For next, I will make two series of tutorial. One will cover general concepts of chemical engineering which are important for interview preparation. And second, I will start a subject and I will make its complete lectures. Thank you.